I mean, just check out that sticky, caramelly sauce and it's so beautifully spiced and that pork is fork tender. This is my Vietnamese style spiced caramel pork belly. Okay, so the special thing about this dish is obviously that amazing sticky like spiced sauce and it's very easy. I'll show you how. So start out with the pork belly and I've got skin off pork belly here. I find that the pork goes a lot more tender without the skin on it. And now my marinade is also going to double up as the sauce later on. So it does double duty. Uh, so let's start off here with some orange peel. And I love how rich and delicious and beautiful this sauce is, but there's a little trick because it tastes like it's got like a billion spices in it and we're not gonna use any spices at all. So I'll show you what my secret ingredient is coming up. Okay and the juice of that orange too. And some chicken stock, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, and then some dark sweet soy sauce. And now my secret ingredient is something that you guys would probably have in your liquor cabinet that you haven't thought twice about. Angostura is an iconic brand and its aromatic bitters is a secret recipe that's remained unchanged for 200 years. It's globally known as like the bartender's salt. If you like, you know, just like a seasoning that you can add to cocktails like old fashions, a lot of classic cocktails that you would love. But I don't see why it can't be the cook's secret seasoning salt because there's just so much flavor in this guy. Oh. So good. We have the Queen's stamp of approval. I actually didn't know that. Did you know that, Haley? She goes hard on the bitters. She goes, Love apparently that. she goes hard on the bitters. <laughs> Let's pop it into our marinade and we'll see just how magic it is at the end. And now some ginger. Okay, now I need some white pepper here too. And some salt. Pork belly goes in. And then just give that a mix. Now you want to leave that pork belly to marinate for about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to make some pickled carrot. So I just need some carrots. You can use a julienne peeler here or you can totally cheat and just use the carrot strips that you can find at the supermarket. Either way, I won't tell, it's fine. I'm going to add in some vinegar. This is a really quick pickle and it just kind of gives you like this sharp, crunchy kind of bite uh, that contrasts to your sticky, sweet pork belly at the end. All right, so sugar and salt. Let's give that a mix. Now, by the time we finished our pork, this carrot will be lovely and like tart and pickly. So I'm just going to leave it aside. So the idea here is that I want to sear off my pork first. So a little bit of oil in here and then take out your pieces of pork belly. Pop those in. Now you just want to let these pieces cook until they get a really beautiful color on them. Now after just a few minutes here, you can see when I flip this pork over, oh, look at that, look at that color. I mean, it already looks so good. And when you see that beautiful caramelized color, that means we're getting a really good like flavor base for the rest of our sauce. That charriness is all flavor. So now that we have that beautiful color in our pork, let's add some onion. And then the rest of our marinade, which includes all of our magic ingredients, like our Angostura bitters, uh, the sugar, the soy sauce, this is where the magic happens. Now just let that simmer for about an hour. That sauce will thicken up and the pork will become beautifully tender. While the pork's cooking, I'm gonna make a really quick dressing here. So just some fish sauce, vinegar, sugar, garlic, and some chili. Let's give that a mix. Okay, so we're currently at like heaven stage for this pork and the sauce. I mean, it's just so thick and glossy and amazing. Ah, that looks so good. Okay, so here's the deal. I have my pickled carrot and my milk chum dressing, and I just wanna pop my pork pieces onto my serving bowl. Now you can serve this with rice on the side, you could serve some lettuce leaves and like wrap everything up. But the main point is that you have some of this amazing pork and then a nice little dollop of your carrot and a little drizzle of that dressing. So pretty. 
I mean, look at the colors. You've got the dark pork and the, and the bright carrot. Oh my goodness, I need to get in here and try this. So good. That flavor is incredible. It's like all of those aromatics, the botanicals, everything from the bitters has just infused that sauce with so much like, like intrigue. It's more than just a sweet sauce, you know what I mean? Like it's just got this beautiful depth of flavor. It's really cool. It's a good one, guys. Mm. Hey guys, if you wanna know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you.